Hi, I'm Elle and today I'm going to be talking to you about the top five tools that I use as a freelancer. Um, so, we'll just get right into it. First one is Evernote. Um, I've heard a few people say that they can't work out Evernote or they find it really hard to use, but I actually love it. It's a place where I can put ideas and notes and drafts and um, whatever I want into um, one place. I can access it offline or online and it syncs up to all of my devices. So even if I'm on my phone, on the tube, I can tap out a note and then by the time I get home it's synced up and I can access that again. Um, you can put images and clips from websites into your notes and you can organise them into notebooks. Um, I just love it. I pay for the premium version so that I can use notes offline as well. I think it's about £50 a year or something, um, but totally worthwhile. I love it. I highly recommend it. Um, especially for my writing, I'll find that I have an idea about a character and I'll just want to jot down something and rather than having a handbag full of scrap pieces of paper with notes all over it, I have it all in my uh, in my Evernote notes. Um, so that's my first one. Second one is kind of similar, but I use it in a really different way. It's Google Drive, and I use that for all of my documents that I'm sending to clients. Um, the great thing about Google Drive is that you can share a link to a document with someone, and then anyone with that link can either view it or edit it, depending on what settings you um, you choose. So that's really useful for sending work to clients um, rather than attaching files which can become bulky. Um, and I also save copies of all my drafts of my book into my Google Drive just so it's online. If my computer crashes and dies, I'm not going to lose that. Um, I also upload photos into my Google Drive to edit later because I can do that from any device. Um, and yeah, Google Drive syncs up to your computer so you can save files from directly from your computer into your Google, Google Drive um, and across devices as well. So that's really, really useful and it's good for collaboration as well if you want to work on something with other people. Um, you can all work on the same document at once. And it's got its own version of kind of Word and Excel, um, so that's really useful for, for doing reporting and things like that. So I definitely recommend Google Drive. Um, my third useful tool is my Filofax, which I've already talked about before. I love it, if you haven't guessed already. Oh, and orange, orange, matching. Um, so without my Filofax, I would not know what I was doing each day. Um, but this has day by day, I've got a to-do list, which helps me get through my day. I only ticked off one today, oh well. Um, and I can just see what's coming up. It just helps me to keep um, my days in order, basically. So that's my third one. Um, Pixlr. Pixlr. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a photo editing tool. It's an online tool. You can download it and, and use a, um, a PC-based one or a Mac-based one, but I just use the web-based tool. Um, it's for really simple, easy edits to photos, so things like resizing, cropping, um, adding text, things like that. Um, I use that for pretty much all the photos that I've got onto my blog. Um, and it's super simple to use, no fuss. Um, I have uh, Photoshop elements for things that I want to get a little bit fancier with, but for the basic resizing and cropping, um, I use Pixlr pretty much every day. And then finally, um, for my social media work, I use Hootsuite, and I swear by it. Um, I haven't upgraded to the premium version yet, but I think I probably will need to. You can have, I think it's up to five accounts on the free version um, and I just find it really useful to keep track of lists and to um, do search strings and even the reporting is good. You only get one report with the free version and you get loads more with the premium upgrade. Um, so that's probably one of the best reasons to upgrade is having um, access to the reports. But even if you're just using the simple um, free version, it's ideal for scheduling posts um, and just keeping track of everything in different columns. So I could not do my social media work without Hootsuite. Um, so yeah, those are my five top tools for freelancing. Evernote, Google Drive, my Filofax, Pixlr, and Hootsuite. Um, but yeah, let me know what your top tools are, um, especially if they're different to mine. I love hearing about new things that can make my life easier. Um, so do share your tips and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you won't miss any of my um, upcoming vlogs. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.